student and youth organizations all over Italy hit the streets on January 28th. This is part of a wave of protests that broke out following the death of a student, Lorenzo Parigli. He was killed when a steel girder fell on him while working as an intern for a private company on January 21st. The same night, students in Italy's capital, Rome, organized an action in front of the Ministry of Education, University and Research. The next day, students protested in cities across Italy in front of the offices of Confindustria, the general confederation of the Italian industry. On January 23rd, the third consecutive day of protest, police attacked students in Rome and wounded too. The death of Lorenzo Parilli was a trigger for the deep-seated frustration experienced by Italian youth. They have blamed and exploited a government policy responsible for his death. A school reform of 2015 implemented a mandatory internship for students. Seven years after the implementation of this system, nothing has changed for students and young workers. At the end of 2021, the unemployment rate of those aged under 25 increased to almost 30% double compared to other EU27 countries. Various forms of precarity such as irregular work, low wages, violence and harassment at the workplace affect one out of two workers under 35. The unpaid work is all the more jarring in an unsafe labour market where every day four to five people die in workplace accidents. In the last two years of the pandemic, high school students have been neglected by the government. At the beginning of the pandemic, the government quickly decided to make all learning remote. However, distance learning soon became an obstacle for students. In 2020, it was estimated that 13.1% of young people did not finish school and left early. According to reports, the number of students who made it to graduation but acquired only a part of the expected skills in high school also increased. Additionally, two years since the beginning of the pandemic, the Italian government is yet to adapt school infrastructure to the new conditions. The classes are still overcrowded and ventilation systems have not been renewed. Public and school transport have also not been upgraded. The country still does not have a proposal to overcome the digital divide. In this context, social discontent among high school students has increased widely. In response from October to December 2021, students occupied over 50 schools in Rome. Students protested the lack of infrastructure, shortage of teachers and sanitary problems. Students also denied the lack of laboratories, teaching instruments and classrooms. The indignation of the students indicates the possibility of a larger protest movement against work precarity and exploitation. More protests are likely to take place in the coming days.